all these champions that do want to dive. MF, I think, makes actually quite a bit of sense alongside this competition to be getting those auto attacks out. The MF ultimate works perfectly alongside that. If you have J4 and Galio locking someone down. We saw him play it in the final, likes the Blade of the Rune King, press the attack build. A lot of people do pick up in solo queue. And can be a massive threat on the champion. Not something that I always expect from that. They did exactly in that previous game. We'll see if they can make this happen. Will they find the execution? The 5-4, the double taunts are going to leap in. They're going to immediately focus the Tom Kench and burn him down. Only level two, no thick skin, no chance. Gang running. But once again, the one for one, just like last time. Yeah, it's exactly the same almost. We'll see though, can Seros get out? June is coming. Yeah, Saros is able to walk away. Good amount of pressure in the mid lane, but not able to force a summoner. G4 very confident in those trades, but Unipon and Steel are on the way up. They want to accelerate the pace of the game. They are not interested in playing it slow. Flag and drag forward. June now running for his life. The stun is not going to connect. Saros leaps in. Good bit of damage. Will not go for the adduct there. And then both sides are going to back off, but getting the flash from Rocky. the kid. G4 has to give him a bit more respect. Good bit of damage, though. Evie now in trouble. Rocky with the level 6 trying to find the all in. Will not force anything outside of a flash to come in on the side of Evi. Saros now stepping forward, though, has the Aureli ultimate, is not going to connect. Huge stun comes in there, and June just going to try to trace down for the third hit. Not going to connect. Could perhaps threaten this four-man dive. Saros is coming, too. G4 coming in late, though. They need to commit to the play here if they want to go for it. Lloyd will get taunted up. Tom Hatch immediately going to try to eat up there, but the PP coming now coming in. Rocky on the backside. Udupon has been caught out. He does not have a safety net of the Tom Kench, and he will go down. Udupon killed by Lloyd. Steel now in enemy territory. Will he be able to make it out of this one? Kindred looking in, fishing for that mark. She kills the Jarvan. It's going to be a big deal towards that scaling option. Steel. I feel like there's any way out here. Tom Kent's just waiting. One more. Going to eat him up. Most likely spit him right back in. Doesn't even need to. G4 going to grab it. Kindred gets the mark. And Mega walking away on top. We'll see if they're going to be able to. Steel just uh, sadly missing the flag and drag there. But now they're immediately going to try to take the fight off. Cataclysm coming in, but Kendrick could also try to move in to buy a bit more time for the allies. Tom Kench caught out. Instantly the ult comes out as well, but on the backside, Kendrick ult has been used. June's still alive. Needs to be careful. Dashing over the wall, running for his life, but Evie is here for cleanup duty. Now dashing forward. Will he take out Pop as well? One more passive proc might be enough. Only one kill taken down in the end, but it does give Jarvan access to the dragon. Tom Kench ult now channeling to try to take him to safety. Team is going to retreat. G4 there to ward off any further aggression. Yeah. Such a low chance that you smite that away, and you'd be giving up your your life. Oh, oh, oh a lot oh. higher chance now. Oh, oh no. Uh, you hate to see that. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Oh, well, you may be able to turn it around here. Although now the jar is going in, will not likely win out on the one v one. But that is a massive bullet time. Rocky trying to turn it back with the Donald's zone. Level 11 coming in for the cannon. They want to lock him up. Rocky flashing over the wall. G4 look for the one v one off the side, but Evie comes out on top, healing. Just barely enough off that triumph to survive in the end. So incredibly close. This is a resilient Rift Herald. It's reset again. Too much juggling of the aggro. It does reset. And as a result, they're going to lose not only the fight, but the objective. Maybe because it's a hallmark of Group B. <laughs> now, Unipon looking for the individual 1v1. And I think it's just going to kill G4 here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, he's really far ahead. Of Sarah. That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Uh, he finds G4, gets the first autos out. So he, he does have first shot, and that is really what allows him to kind of go for this. But the stun, the stun came out so so. And the rest of Mega trying to get vision down on the Baron. They will do so successfully. But now that's the key to get the fight kicked off. Ash arrow misses. That could be big trouble now for the rest of the team. But it was the fake Ash arrow. Lloyd's is still up and available. Gang now gonna flash forward. Then the double stun, Unipon over the wall. Stun goes in on the Akali. Cannon, where is he gonna go? They need a big ultimate here. He hits onto Evie, he hits on multiple members, but it's Saros. Unipon is raking havoc in the back lines. Both teams just deleting each other off the face of the map. But right now, Detonation Focus be coming out on top. Evie still alive, flashes out to safety. Saros suppressed, sucked up, and now killed here by the Tom Kench. Pop has to run for his life though. Steel on the way in, Unipon is dead. Major damage sources are gone. If they extend this fight, it's gonna take a while, and both sides are just gonna back away. They wanna either be straight onto the back line, bursting someone out, or Splitting it up. Four, though, getting the fight kicked off here. It's just going to keep dashing in, but it's now locked in the middle of the team. Finds the reset on the stun. Immediately leaps on Udupon, but just gets deleted. Arrow comes in as well. It is going to be the one for one, but it's Saros in the back line. He's stolen the Ash Hulk, but another kill going to drop is the Kindred. Is now down as well. Evi trying to extend the play. One dash forward. Could look for a second one as well. Triple kill coming in for Udupon. Not going to get the quadra. Saros takes it away, but that's going to be the Baron for Detonation. Focus me. And Rocky is nowhere yeah, to be getting seen. Getting everything out of that. and now in full control of this game. And remember that if, if Mega lose here, that they are out of contention. They will get to play the rest of their games today, but they will see no, no more ties now been stolen. 
See how strong this one is going to be on the back of that Asher. Oh, digital amount of damage to get the fight kicked off. Pop now trying to save G4, but that's going to put Ash in a difficult scenario. If Saris wants to step forward, the flash to the back line. Rocky wants to delete Unipon. Unipon taken out. This fight could just turn in the favor of Mega. Evi now trying to turn it back. Saros in the midst of everyone. Evi needs to find a big execution here. He finds one, tries to find June as well. Steel coming in. Evi is popping off in the fight. Members kept alive by the Kinder Ultimate, trying to buy a little more time for a fight. It's not enough. Double kill for Evi. They're turning the fight in their favor. Rocky zoned out. Evi's going to try to get one more. Steel going to take it in the end. Detonation focus. Focus me now poised to end. Yeah, they're gonna do it here, Dracos. DFM have done it. Winning the fight in the base here. They'll be able to close this one out. Moving in for a bit more. Rocky, no ultimate available. Just threatening, just posturing. Now gonna buy a bit more time with the stopwatch, but will just get taken down. And it is a long, slow goodbye for the side of Mega. Have to be hurting on the back of that game. Once again, Detonation focus me when it counts. Puts their money where their mouths are and are able to move up to 3-1 in the group. Really well played game again.